Hello, welcome to Heather Broadbent's online violin studio. In this video, we're doing some more fun things to encourage children to uh, use their fingers. Uh, different ways, kind of fun little games that you can do. And um, you can start this at a very, you know, very young age. Uh, Three-year-olds, this works. Uh, it's, it's, your, it's your call. Um, maybe it depends on the child, year and a half, two years old, this works as well. So you can just have, um, have this around the house and slowly encourage um, these movements with, with toys. Uh, so what I have here are finger puppets. We have different little finger puppets, and they're so cute. They're just adorable. Um, these actually I, I bought at a just a, 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 a music a, a school store, not a mu specifically music store at all, but just a um, a school store of school spe specifically for school supplies, school toys, school games, that kind of thing. Um, they actually come in this fun ball. Isn't this the cutest thing? And um, you unzip it here, and inside are all the little creatures, all the little animals. So here we have a zebra, and um, this actually uh, just fits on the finger like here, and you can use any finger puppets. And you can play with your child or your student with these, um, and have them sit on one finger and play with it. And then um, if you get more advanced and they get really good with the, the one finger, go ahead and do one toy first at a time on different fingers, okay? And, and ask them and tell them to put it on the different fingers, like the first finger, second finger, the third finger, and the fourth finger, okay? And they'll have fun with that. Then if you get a little, um, a little more advanced, you can use two different toys, uh, finger puppets, and you put them on um, the different fingers. So you could say, wiggle the first finger, wiggle the second finger, and um, have them, you know, just have fun with the puppets. You can actually yourself have um, one on your hand here. Um, let me get the other one here. And you could do the same thing. So um, you can play a game where you have matching, um, if you have two of the finger puppets. You personally have some on your hand, and the student has some on their hand. And you have the zebras talk to each other, the first finger, have the monkeys talk to each other, the second finger, or just say first finger, second finger, and, um, and just have fun with that. It's just, they love it. It's so much fun, and it's a great way to just get the fingers moving and to name the finger and have them know which finger is which. So um, have fun with the finger puppets. Uh, any, any kind works. It doesn't have to be animals. It could be anything, whatever you find. Um, but they would love it. So enjoy it, have fun, and uh, happy practicing.